<laughs> Our next problem is called the birthday balls up. Oh. And this comes from Matt. Uh, dear Uncle Sai and Uncle Dave, I mm. am confused. My partner, Laura, and I have been together for a year. We met just oh. after her birthday last year, so it was her first birthday for us together recently. We're both in our mid-30s, but this is actually also my first long-term relationship. So I took some advice and asked her what she'd like for her birthday. She said to me oh, yeah. that she didn't really need anything, so just a nice dinner or something like that. Come her birthday, I took her to a nice restaurant, made sure there was a card, some flowers. We had a lovely evening, and after I drove her home, I wasn't staying over as she had an early start, uh, we got to her place, and she just sat in the car looking at me. And when I said, w what are you doing? She said, waiting for my present. I explained that when I asked, oh. she told me that she didn't need anything, so I hadn't got anything. This sparked a long row. A few days of very terse text oh. messages, and the last thing she said on the matter was she doesn't think she could ever forgive me for what I did. The only trouble is... I don't know what I did. Help, says Matt. Over to you. Well, she obviously wanted a birthday present. She didn't really mean. Oh, no, you need complete numbnut, Matt. No. When women say that they don't actually need anything, it is the polar opposite to actually what they are thinking. This is the fundamental difference between the species. Yeah, now, when they say don't bother with birthdays, that means they really do bother, do with, bother birthdays. with birthdays, and they actually last a week. <laughs> Uh, the dinner is only an opportunity in which to unveil that said present. Yes, indeed. You see. Yes. So no wonder she couldn't forgive you, you thick urchin. What are you like? Uh, you're right, because there's a very different thing between needing. We don't yes. need anything else, but no. we always mm. want something else. <laughs> there's exactly. The yeah. That is fundamentally and quintessentially it in a posh tash nutshell. <laughs> what we have here is a, my, a, a male mindset and a female mindset. What you, the other thing that you've missed as well, Matt, which is absolutely quintessentially important, as will Dave testify to, what they need and what they want are two different things, as Tasha just pointed out. But the bit in the middle is what you have to think about is what they actually want, that they're saying that they don't need. But do you think English women are, are hard to work like this? You see, like, my wife's Eastern European. She tells it how it is. So what do you want for your birthday, love? Shows. You know, uh, there's, there's no, you know, uh, there's no messing about, you know. Yeah. You know exactly where you are. But do you think, <laughs> no, but do you think there's something that, that it's, 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 shows. It, it's an etiquette that's a game that people play. You know, yeah. oh, no, 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 I simply couldn't. I go, oh, go on then, just have the one. It's you know. so true. We're too damn yeah. polite in England, I think, on Britain. We're, we're so, so, don't, no, sorry. Oh, it was me. We all know what we want to really say, but we just don't say it. But yeah, I, but then you then you get really humpy if we don't read the signals. Yeah. No, I agree totally. And, I, and you know, I'm laughing because it's so true and I'm guilty of it too. You say one thing, you mean another. But when it comes to thinking about birthday presents, like clearly Lil's brilliant. She knows what she wants, she says it. You'd rather get that than a disappointing present. However, I am so overthinking about everything for everybody else. I just want someone to think about me and what I might like for once. Because if you tell them, that means you've had to think about it again. I would like someone else to do thinking. Go out and go, what would she like? And then that, that means so much more. And if it ends up being a packet of polos, I'm still thrilled because I might love polos. But they thought about it, not me. Are uh, you just saying that about the polos? Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, Kingy, <laughs> right, you're, you're buying Tash a birthday present on this. Yeah. What would you buy her to make her happy? Considering she only wants a tube of polos. Uh, 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 I, um, I'd, right. So, I, I could see that I've been at an effort. I would have gone to a retro sweet shop and bought her a bottle, a, a packet of Spangles. <laughs> just to just to bring her back to, like, you know, when she was younger. Look at him. Yeah, see, I've thought about that. You know, no, that's see. all they want. And a diamond. It's a diamond I was waiting for. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that would be too forward, wouldn't it, really? You see, what I would do is, by what? giving the thing away about the polos, it, it's just into confectionery. So mm. if you're on the pull, I'd probably go to Charbonnel and Walker, you know, the Queen's Chocolatiers, mm -hmm. uh, and bring her a nice box of champagne truffles or something, and just go... You're doing well, you're doing well, but still diamonds. <laughs> I see. <laughs> see, see, so right, okay. In the middle of the spangles like tube, I'd put a diamond. Oh, 
better, better. Absolute bullshit. There's absolutely no way you're getting... <laughs> a, I haven't slept with you. B, we've not even been out to dinner. And C, we're not in love with each other. So, and listen, it t- took me 20 years to buy Jane a first diamond to tell you. <laughs> it's such a tough one. I do feel for him. I really, I can re- I'm really on his side of the story because I really feel for him because she threw it out there. Please don't worry about it. He put some effort in. He cooked a dinner. He bought her flowers. He tried and did something, and then he got bollocks for it. And I feel, really feel for him because that was her screw up there. I really, I really do see that. Yeah, fair enough, Matt. We'll let you off. You, you, you mate, yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah, dumper. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think you might, I think you might be right. It sounds too much like hard work, really. Uh, yeah, exactly. See, I'm with you. This is going to happen twice a year: Christmas and birthdays, isn't it? Yeah. And then so every, an Easter. <clears throat> Well, that's easy. Just took her an egg. Oh, yeah. Diamond in. Hey? With a diamond inside. Egg with a diamond. A Fabergé egg. Yes. <laughs> well, I think we've solved that for Matt. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, excellent work done for him. Uh, size default position. My first wife used to, got so fed up with it, she used to give me the Argos catalogue number. So that was... That was you are kidding me. <laughs> yeah, but that's me. because you you would be terrible. I bet you're really crap at presents, aren't you? Crap at presents, absolutely. Well, I used to be. I used to be. I've got better now. Uh, but yeah. <laughs>